Isn't that awesome? Even after you said to yourself? Yes. Even after I said said that, I almost forgot to hit the record button. All right. Audacity. Remember, we got the Alpha Geek bumper beforehand and then straight into the, well, it's not straight into the intro because, hmm. All right, you ready, babe? Yep, I'm ready. You're always ready. And 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 just, are you on the Twitch site? I am on. I guess I can just mention periodically. If you're on the Twitch site, uh, get off the Twitch site and go to ValentineCastLive.com. We're in Thin Stack. Oh, um, JK. Yeah, Reason Thin Stack. So if you're on Twitch, yeah, let me pop out the chat. I have the Twitch chat here. Let me pop it out. Yeah, just. Just for the people who, uh, and I love that Diddy's in here twice. All right. Are you Valentine three hundred five? Oh no, uh, that's a guess. That could be Aaron. It could be Aaron. He can do. He can do the slash N I C. N I C K. Change your. Remember to change your. If you want to change your nickname. Yeah, you can do slash Nick and then whatever nickname you want. Right. It's easy to change your name. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. I popped up the chat room and it's loading. Oh, no, it's not loading. It finished loading. Okay. All right. Let's do a Valentine cast. <laughs> Mobile low bandwidth simulcast of this show available on Alpha Geek Radio. Using your mobile device web browser, go to mobile.alphageekradio.com to tune in now. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine cast with your I have no ideal couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. Today is Monday, February 3rd, 2013. And this is episode 143. Woo. It is cold outside here in Louisville, Kentucky, where we got six inches of snow. I know. And I still had to go to work this morning. And I know people are like, man, here in Colorado, we got 30 inches. Y'all a bunch of bitches. <laughs> I don't think they're quite saying that, but uh, maybe they're like, quit your bitching. Okay. That's what I would say. Quit your belly aching. Quit your belly aching. Yeah. So, um, I'm Jay. It's my lovely wife, Renee. Hello. And we are doing the Valentine cast here. And um, we want to say thank you to Derek at Pretty Lights Music Radio. I thank mean, you, Pretty Lights you. Music. Dot com for allowing us to use this music for the intro and outro. And don't worry, I will not be playing the long outro like I did. Or he'll um, start it earlier. Or I may start it early. I was giving him the evil eyes. Yeah. But, oh, that was going on. Um, and I also want to thank the people over at Alpha Geek Radio for uh, letting us live stream this, which you can catch at mobile.alphageekradio.com. And you want to hit channel two, which is where we're doing the live show now. So I want to thank them so much. Just want to say... Hello to our voluptuous chat room. chat room. And voluptuous it is tonight. It That's is. That's a very good description. Uh, we have some people in there. We have you and you and I are in there. We are. Uh, we also have Hando. And Punk Gopher is in the house. Alicia is joining us tonight, which I'm thrilled about. All right. Uh, Grand Nagus is here. JB Hanna is here. Crather is also here. What is going on, Crather? Woo! Zabi is here. And Muhogan. Finally. Both of them. Nice. Here at the same time. Nice. 
Uh, Diddy and Udella are also here. Hello, you two. They are. And they are. JK Grammar, who who's just going by Grammar. Right. Uh, he's he's all, he always go by Grammar. I does mean, he? Frog Pants. He goes by Grammar. Grammar. He does. Uh, we have Kopi with, with two eyes. Copy. Kopi. Uh-huh. Uh, we also have two guests. We don't know their names, so they are going to be Ted Puller 8981 and Valentine 305. Oh, yeah. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much. Um, man, we I have some great news. One of the things that um, if you're watching this live um, and, 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 and our chat room may be noticing this now, which I'm pretty sure they are, that we have a new live site. Yeah, we do. Um, we're, we're actually using, um, you know, we're still using Twitch um, video. Um, and then, you know, where we also do streaming of our games as well. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to throw that out there because some stuff kind of went down today with some from friends <laughs> um, where we stream games. And we also do our live show here as well. Um, and then also I, I made a page with the video. And then we're actually using the IRC ThinStack client um, servers out there so that you, the chat experience will be much better. Mm-hmm. And then also this chat room stays here. It's persistent. So people can stop in anytime during the week. I'm usually in there. Oh, are you? By myself, <laughs> of course. Because I have to to keep my chat room and making sure it it belongs to me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No, right. no, it does. So that's kind of how IRC works. Oh. If I go without 30 days without logging in, it doesn't belong it, to you. It anymore. releases the channel, the 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 room and stuff like that. Oh, uh, okay. But um so chances are when it's not a show it's going to be pretty dead in here. Right. Just a uh warning. Mm-hmm. So. So is now is is the video not working or something? No, the video's okay. It's fine. Oh. Yay, I got it. I got Kopi's name right first try. Nice. Bazinga. Well, I have to say also, um, um, Alpha Geek Radio is also doing an expansion. Mm -hmm. And they're doing an Indiegogo project. And they met their first goal of $900. That's awesome. um, To get some off-site service. Because right now, GnomeWise, he runs this whole thing out of his house. And, And he's doing such a great thing for all of us podcasters that want a mobile stream. You know, for listeners that that may not be able to be here to watch the video, they may just want to pick up their phone and dial into a shoutcast and, and listen to it that way. Um, so he's he's got a second channel up, like I said, that we're on, and then he's also I'm um, going to move that equipment that setup to a to another company, you know, out of his house, off of, um, and he's going to move it on better hardware. So. Go out at Indiegogo.com and search for Alpha Geek Radio Expansion. That's and, awesome. You know, yeah. you could throw a little bit there if, if you definitely, like. Definitely, definitely support him. Yeah, so um, his hope is, um, you know, if he gets, you know, double that, he gets the Expansion Plus, you know, and he'll be able to do some other stuff where he wants to do song requests and, and, and stuff like that. So I love that I yawned a while back, and I just now saw it in the video. Made me want to yawn again. Really? Darn you, Renee. Past Renee making me yawn. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's go ahead and um, let's jump into a weekend wrap up. We- 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 weekend wrap up. That's how you people say it, right? Me, me, you people. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. I- I'm, I'm really, I'm really worried. So is JK's video not working? He said it may be his internet. Try a different browser. But then everybody, but then other people are saying it's working. If it wasn't working, it'd be not working for everyone. Right. It this could. is this is the the programmer's mind. If it's not working, it'd not be working for everyone. It, it could it could be it could be the browser. Try a different browser, or it could be Flash. Dun dun dun. <laughs> All right. So what do we do this week? Um, End. Ran the internet. What? Ran errands. I don't know where. Ran the internet. I don't know why ran internet came out. It ran errands. We went to Costco. Uh, stocked up and you know when you, when you go into Costco you have you have two choices you can either ignore everything and have blinders on and get the one or two things you can get 
Or you can kind of explore, expand out your options, which we usually go, go with blinders on, true? Right. And we do pretty good. We only get one or two things we don't normally get. This time we took the blinders off because we need food to eat instead of because every night I'm like, what are we going to eat? I don't know. Oh, there's nothing here. So <laughs> we end up going out and I'm like, I'm tired of that. I want to, uh, you know, save, save some money, eat at home, you know. So uh, we bought a whole bunch of food. And right. do you know when you go into Costco and you stock up, mm-hmm. the price tag hurts. But then you realize it's for like a month. A month <laughs> or so. <laughs> so it's not so bad, but it's like ouch. Right. So so we went in and we got some staples. We got big old box of Idaho and potatoes that are individual packages. Then we got because they were going to be going away. They're going to be going away because we love Idaho. Here's the secret. I'm going to tell you all a secret to have a Costco. It's a Valentine Cast exclusive. Yeah, they have a Costco in your neighborhood. If you're going to Costco and you see the price tag, and up in the top. Right hand corner, if you see an asterisk in the on the price tag mm-hmm. that's on the on the shelf, there's an asterisk up there. If it's there, that means they are not stocking that product any longer. This is the last of it, and you probably won't see it for another six months. So if you like the product year. and you see an asterisk, make sure to buy it. Right. Or right. else you could now it may came, it may come back in six months. Right. It may never come back. You don't know. So are you willing to take that chance? I know. That's why we bought a big old box of Idaho and potatoes. And we got some chicken. We got some tortellini. tortellini and we got a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of stuff that, you know, we don't have to go out all the time. So Right. And uh yeah, so yeah. So I don't know. It's <laughs> Ugh, I bought some snacks for me, some fruit, because I didn't have any snack because mm-hmm. I was tired of my hummus. Sometimes I'll get on a snack and then I'm done. I'm like, done. Yeah. And I was done with the hummus. It was a good run. Yeah, and the thing with the hummus, too, was that um, when we got it, we was like, okay, we have to have this hummus eaten by um, mid-February or end of February. And we were like, okay, we can do it. We're not going to let it spoil because what happened was we let some food spoil. <laughs> And and we were like, we're not gonna let that happen again. I hate when food spoils. I hate it so much. It's like it's, it's me basically putting money down the drain, right? Instead right. of in my belly, right? So so we we went there and you know and, and and we knocked it out and everything. So we picked up some some um some things from Costco. And then after Costco, was this before after? Oh, we also went and hung out with Kim. Oh yeah, we did hang out with. Um, Kim. We got to hang out with Kim for a little bit, and we I got to watch a little bit of um, what movie was that with um, Michael Clark Doug, Mike Mom, Michael Clark the Duncan. The Island. We watched most of the island. Watched most of the island, um, which made me want to go pa- buy a pair of Pumas. I must admit, <laughs> I want to go buy some Pumas. It made him want to go buy some Pumas. And um, the island has um, Scarlett Joe in it. Scar Joe. Scarlett Johansson. Right. And Ewan McGregor. Who looks like Jim Reiner? He looks like who? I mean, is that the main guy? Yeah. Yeah, he looks like um 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 Hawkeye. Hawkeye. No, he doesn't look like <laughs> Jeremy Renner. Yeah, he looks like Jeremy Jeremy Weiner. If anybody thinks that Jeremy Renner looks like you and McGregor, mm-hmm. they look totally different. If, and the, it's the eyes. No, it's Jim, the eyes. Well, if he if it's just the eyes, and they don't look alike. The eyes look alike. You can't. <laughs> okay. Fine. What if 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 you want to say the eyes look alike? Okay, we'll go with that. But I doubt that as well. All right, I have right. to get a little comparison cut out of eyes, and then we'll see. And you said the same thing to me about Homegirl in Blacklist, and I said she looks like Snooky. <laughs> the um, she does not look like Snooky. And um, everything. No, she doesn't look like Snooky. The uh, Indian chick that was on the ER and is now in Blacklist. Uh huh. And and she doesn't like Snooky. She's Indian. That's just racist. I think Snooky's mixed with Indian. No, she's not. Yeah. She just tans like freaking crazy. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not even. Yeah. Um, not even. And then before we went and hung out with Kim, um, we actually went out to lunch um, with uh, um, with ourselves. And we went to um, Jason's Deli. And when we showed up at Jason's Deli, this scraggly looking white dude walks up to Renee in a leather jacket and we're kinda like I was like, Who's this dude? Who's this bum? 
It and, didn't look, it kind of like a bum. It was, it was nah, funny. just playing. But it, but but it was um it was Adrian and Cole. Yeah, and I was I was really surprised by that. I was like, whoa! And uh, it was awesome because right. we had just seen them a few a few weeks ago. Right, and, and it's almost time for a couples night again. And almost it's almost time for a couples night again, and it was great. So uh, we got to have lunch with them at Jason's Deli. Um, we and we got the salad bar. Yeah, we did. Is good. Yep. Uh, Jay disapproved my freaking French dressing. It tasted very it weird. It tasted weird. Jason's Deli's. You need to. Jason Deli's French. Free your mind. Tasted like Italian. And the rest will follow. It it smelled like. It tasted like Italian. Be colorblind. Don't be so shallow, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, so that was fun. We just talked with them for a little bit, and it's just fun getting caught up with them. And yeah. They're just really awesome people. Now, now I'm worried about J.K. J.K., is, um, he, he keeps um, dropping in and out. Don't worry about J.K. He'll be okay. <laughs> it's like you're worried about your little, you your okay? little friend. You okay, buddy? He, little buddy. He keeps dropping in and out. I was like, you okay? Um... So, um, well, well, look at everybody else here. That's why I'm saying it's not every, everybody else is here and listening. No, no, I know. Jay gets a little testy when he has a new setup. I don't get testy, he gets a little anxious when he has a new setup. Thank you. <laughs> um, and so then before that, what did we do Friday? We didn't do any, we stayed inside, really, probably. I think we were struggling where we were going to eat that day as well, didn't we? Yeah, we ended up going out. I don't even remember where we went. It was horrible. Chipotle. Oh, we went to Chipotle? For real? Because you were like, I don't care. And we yeah. had to go to Chipotle. The, now, does, I wonder if other people have that issue. Like, when you want to go, you're not sure where you want to go eat or anything else. You kind of, you kind of just say, I don't know what I want to eat. Just, 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 uh. Just, just let me know how you feel. Let, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if other couples have the problem of uh, no one can decide where to eat. I don't know what do you want to eat. I don't know what do you want to eat. And right. everybody's like, "What do you feel like?" I don't know. I'm good with anything. And and, and then it becomes a big old uh, chasing your tail, and then you end up just pulling in McDonald's because right. no one can decide what to eat. So, um, I wish I was more picky, but I'm not. Most of the time, I'm good with anything. Um, except Chinese. I have to be very, very... Or did, did we eat Chinese Friday? Oh, we had Chinese! We had Chinese Friday. We did! I it must have been like Thursday. Yeah. We went, so, so, we went to... Um, we I have went, to be in a certain mood for Chinese. And when I say I'm good with Chinese, Jay jumps on it. Yeah. Because yeah, so these we, days, I'm like... Every every blue moon, I want Chinese. So we went to China. We went to Westport China Kitchen. <laughs> China Kitchen, which is on this side of town, is one of the one of the better um, Chinese shops. Mm. I actually prefer them more than P.F. Chang. I Although, mean, they aren't. Well, okay. As far as their general, their general so now, I like P.F. Chang's lo mein dishes. Those right. are those are good. I mean, their regular dishes they don't taste too terribly different from other Chinese places, but may, may, maybe that's well because plus I don't we, have discriminatory taste. Well, plus we ate in also. We did eat and in so this time. This time when you eat in, you know they bring it out as they're cooking it. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> as soon as it comes off the wok, it's in the dish and it's right. to your table, and it's pretty damn hot. But they have good uh, crab rangoon, and they have great hot and sour soup, and. Uh, I tell you what, if you are sitting there eating and you see people coming in and out and you see like four four or five couples eating in, you know it's a good Chinese joint. Right. Because if it's not a good Chinese joint, no one will come in and you'll be like, why am I eating here? And so, I have to agree with Crather. We almost went to Chewy's, but it was too late. Chewy's is always a great choice. Yeah, Chewy's is always a good choice. You know, I had to restart my chat. And we had we had went to Chewy's um, previously. You know, I, not this week, but maybe a week before that. You know, and I don't. You know, if you're joining the chat, babe, I don't understand why you're not using the just the X chat client. But okay, I don't. I don't know. 
Because I was trying to be all on one page. Oh, okay. Oh, it's but, like, because you like looking at yourself, right? You like looking at yourself? Jeez. Huh? Well, I guess I don't have to look at myself. Well, technically. Well, I mean, you can. I mm, mean, I like I looking can. at you. But anyway. <laughs> well, well, I... I don't. I don't want to get into it because I don't have the. Uh, I don't. I don't have the window for. I don't know how to get to. You you do slash J space pound Valentine cast. Is how you do it. Slash J space pound Valentine cast. I'm the only one in here. Boom. You did slash J. Slash J space. Space. Pound. Pound. Valentine cast. Yeah. Are you even connected? Yes. <laughs> anyway. Well. Just use the website. I'm the only one in frog pants, too. Yeah, nope. you're not connected. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not the only one in frog pants. Although, you know what? Forget it. We'll just, we'll, we'll just continue. Well, just use the webpage, dude. Okay. Well, the webpage wasn't working. See, this All right. is, this is, this is where it breaks down for me. Yeah, she, we could have probably probably could have locked in earlier you know to make sure everything was I'll set just won't but i'll just be ice flow underscore how's that <laughs> there's an ice flow it's the ice flow underscore then there's an ice flow underscore underscore here we go let's do this <laughs> i'm just gonna be the guest oh god you kicked me all right hold tight I can't believe we're doing this on the show. You can just let me stay in this ice flow underscore underscore. You can just let me stay. Huh? Now I can't see what people are saying because you kicked me out. I'm I'm kicking all of your tunes out. <sighs> now. Hold on. Now you can join back in as ice flow. I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you interrupted the show. I'm not interrupting the show. You're not? Oh, because I'm part of the show. It says nickname is already in use. And then it says, an error occurred in valid session. This mostly makes me so res restart or close the dialogue and then try refreshing well, the page. Close it. I, I did. And I refreshed. And then I had to, this, just let me be in here as Valentine underscore. Let me okay. be. All right. Anyway. Isn't that a Beatles Renee, song? Renee does technology. Don't even. Um. So then Sunday we watched the Super Bowl. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just move on to that. Yeah, we're going to move on to because that. Because this is horrible. Because, be, look, we can fix this later. Because Renee's being horrible. Because I'm being horrible. Super Bowl. Talk about horrible. Super Bowl. Uh, no, talk about Super Bowl. Broncos were horrible. <laughs> Definitely. So How's that? For first two way? seconds of the game. Boom. Broncos screw up. Safety. I mean, I think that was one. Now, was that one of the fastest touchdowns in, in Super Bowl history? Or not? Su- no, fastest yes. score. Yes. They they mentioned that when it happened. Oh, they did. Super Bowl history is the fastest uh, first score of the game. That was crazy. That was nuts. And uh, so, okay, so just, just to give you all background. I don't like sports, and I'll tell you why. Why? When I'm rooting for a team, it gets me very anxious. My heart races. I have butterflies in my stomach. I it's it's really. It, it gets me really amped, mm-hmm. and I don't like the feeling. Right. It, it's I hate it. So um, I usually can only watch sports, but I don't care who wins or loses. Right. Then I'm better for it. And I was cool because it's, I didn't care who won or lost. Well, I didn't care. Right. Um, you, you know, I wouldn't have minded if Seahawks lost because Richard Sherman was a douche in a couple of his interviews, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But I really didn't care either way. But then Jay had to go and say, I want Seahawks to win because I'm going to do because they're the underdog. Right. Well, that means now I have a stake in the game because I love Jay, so I want his team to win. So now Aww. I'm voting for the freaking Seahawks. Oh. So that- now I have a stake in the game. Yeah. So I have heart palpitations all during the first quarter. So so they scored, and I was like, well, that's good. But, man, Broncos could easily come back any time. Right. <laughs> they, look- could, they could kick a field goal and be in the lead. I, I know. So <laughs> what happened after – that first touchdown. That first down, um, they I think they kicked a they kicked two field goals. Seahawks did. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, um, if I'm thinking correctly, I think in the first half, Manning had a le- seventeen um, downs that mm-hmm. he actually played. 
if I'm thinking correctly. I mean, they just got dominated. I mean, I've, I'm thinking the score was 28 going into the third quarter to, was it three or was it zero? Oh, it was zero, if I'm thinking correctly. So, but it was, they were dominating and people, you know, you know, Manning, Peyton Manning gives some of the best face. I mean, he should. His, the Peyton faces, Manning gave sad face is what Peyton Manning gave. The, the faces that he was making. Sad face. I think they're going to replace those with face palms. And and people were putting up pictures of Peyton Manning talking on the phone. It was like, Mom, can you come get me? The kids at camp aren't playing fair. Yeah, it's, it's, it, was, it was pretty funny. And so, I mean... I felt better mm-hmm. after the set uh, as it went into halftime. I was like, okay, well, the Broncos had to do some crazy stuff to pull in, so my heart palpitation slowed. Promise. Okay, this is why I hate sports. Hate sports. Hate, 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 hate. So you, you get invested. Renee gets very invested. Yes, I get too invested, and, and that's you know that's kind of cool, you know. Until it makes me crazy. <laughs> so, um, so what was your favorite? Um, what was your favorite um, commercial? Um, my favorite commercial. Which one did I like most? I like the Puppy Love Budweiser one. Okay, the Clydesdale. And the Cheerios one was really cute because uh-huh. that one was gonna murder her, her husband, which is pretty funny. Okay. Um, so I like those two. I think the best because the Puppy Love one was just awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah. Cool. If, if I was gonna cry, that would that would have made me cry. That would have made you cry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't cry, but it was good. So, what was your favorite? Um, I like the Radio Shack one that did the. Oh, the Radio Shack one was good. Uh huh. The Radio Shack one was good. Did you like the Muppets and Terry Crews? I did. That one was good. That one was good as well. Um, I also liked the. Uh, um, I like the Clydesdale, of course. Oh, of course. I, I like that one. Um. The um, Grand Nagus was talking about the uh, Transformer movie. Um, the trailer for that that was kind of that was kind of cool watching Optimus Prime. Yeah, it was riding cool. Grimlock. <laughs> and I was just glad that Shia LaBeouf wasn't in there right. this time. So right, and um, I also had to agree with Felicia that you know you can't go wrong with puppies and the horse. This is true. Puppies and horses win every time. So when you saw the. Uh, Clydesdale and the mm-hmm. horse. At the end of it, what did you say? The Clydesdale and the puppy? Yeah. I was like, I want both of them. Right. You can't have one without the other one. Okay. And Hando said the pistachios one was the best. No, the pistachios one was the creepiest. creepiest. That one got the creepy. With Stephen Colbert opening up his own head. Come on. That was creepy yeah. as all get out. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. Hando. Creepy. Creepy. And then let's but, see. But I, I mean, they were decent. They weren't. They didn't have standout ones like they used to. Uh huh. And they only had two Budweiser ones. Um. Yep. Two. And then and then they had the um, then they had the one that started the one of that showed <laughs> that divided America in half. Oh, this is yeah yeah okay so. Then there was the Coca Cola commercial. Yeah. With this. the singing of America the Beautiful. In different languages. In different in seven different languages. Do you know that in the midst of that, there, there was a there was uh, a gay couple. Same, there, every, there was a same sex couple. Same sex couple in every yes, yeah, same sex family, a family with same sex parents. Here you go, uh, and nobody mentioned it because everybody was too up in caught, arms caught in America. Up. They're caught up in America. America. Well, this is, well, this is speak, America. Speak speak American. Speak, speak American. <laughs> so, so okay. So my thought. I thought the commercial was saying, hey, America's a diverse country with lots of cultures and people that speak different languages. Right. And it is. Right. But other people took it to mean, what did they take it to mean? They thought it was just They thought it was was disrespectful disrespectful. to sing America the Beautiful, which was meant to be sung in English. Period. Period. And to be sung in seven different languages. By people that are actually coming to America, their first time, their their first gen, gen people coming to America. So I'm and like, you, and people are like, well, how do you know this, Jay? Because one of the folks that were upset about it from Facebook 
after doing some research, he found a video, a five minute video of a documentary, kind of a mini documentary that Coca Cola did, interviewing the people that are coming from these countries mm -hmm. and talking about how proud they are to be an American. Right. And and so he was like, had they Coke um, played this for a commercial, then I would have got with, with the one minute commercial. Right. So. But I mean, but people can't, people automatically take it to mean the worst. And why can't you just take it to mean the best? Right. And then you have a lot less stress in your life. Right. So whatever, Coca-Cola. Some people are like, I'm never going to drink Coca-Cola again. You know, Coca-Cola will be just fine if if they never get another. So um in the middle of the in the middle of the Super Bowl, um I had to unfriend a family member. Oh, why why did you have to unfriend a family member? And I it takes a lot for me to unfriend someone. It does. There are people whose views I don't agree with all the time, but a family member said, I don't agree with all my family and friends going to and watching the satanic ritual that is the Super Bowl. <laughs> I saw that. I clicked his name, unfriend, no comment. No, I was like, I don't I, I don't have time for that on my feed. Right. I ain't got no time for that. So I was like, that is, I was like, I can't believe that was said. Right. And I have no problem with people talking about jesus and god and religion you can talk i mean it's all it's all in my feet anyway right it's fine but right. when you go say crazy stuff you're out you so got to go you, you got to get off my feet so um i doubt i doubt he listens to this but if he does that's why you're unfriended so there you go oh you should have said something before you said it i wouldn't what i don't know what no I it didn't need comment because i would have just got pissed off and there's no need for me to but get But you wouldn't upset. have saw it because you would have unfriended him. <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be like, Satan, get behind me. I wanted to say WTF. And then I'm <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I was like, that's so weird. Right, right. And, 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 I, and, I, and I mentioned it on Twitter and everybody was like, that's just weird. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought it was odd. But um, halftime show came, came around. Oh, my God. I was so boring. It was Mr. Bruno Mars. And... I've heard quite positive things right. about it. Um, they said, oh, he did great. He was wonderful. One of the best halftime shows in a long time. I thought the dude was boring. I'm sorry. He had guessed uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, old yep. as hell, but yep. they're still doing it. They're still doing it. With no shirts on. Mm. <laughs> they didn't come out with the cock socks, sadly. No, did, no they can't do that on the Super Bowl. No, you can't. They would. They wouldn't let them do that. No, they definitely wouldn't let them do that. But Bruno Mars. I mean, he gave a decent show. I mean, he sang his songs. I mean, he gave a, he gave a Bruno show. Yeah, he gave a Bruno show. It was fine. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't no Prince or nothing. Or Michael Jackson. Or right. He, I thought Beyonce was better than his, but. So um, one of the things we learned today, um, while listening to NPR on the way home, mm -hmm. was that the Super Bowl halftime show. Really didn't become a huge thing until 1993. 1992 is well, well 93. Okay, okay, yeah, it became a big thing in 93, 93 because of what happened in 92. Because in 1992, for those that know that are old enough to remember, man, some people were barely born in 1992 right. around here. In Living Color, actually did a halftime show. You can do what you want to do in living color. color. Okay. So they did a halftime show where they were like, doing a halftime, everybody, come on over to Fox or whatever channel they were on and said, come on over here. We're going to have a Super Bowl halftime show. And then you can go back and watch your game. And they had so many people that tuned in to that show that they were like, that the people at NFL was like, hey, we should do a halftime show. Get the biggest name in the music industry. Yeah, because I think their halftime shows, they had, like, I don't know if they had cheerleaders or they had what back then. Well, it was they boring, had, whatever it was. So, I mean, but in Living Color, a little sketch comedy drew, drew people away from one of the biggest, you know, football games of the year. Yeah, so that's a little oh, piece of, uh, that's a piece of black history right there for you. So, who did they get for the first Super Bowl, Jay? Michael Jackson. And one other interesting thing we learned about the Super Bowl halftime show, the person that comes, 
They, they do not get, get paid. paid. <laughs> they do not get paid at all. It's such a huge honor that they don't get paid. That's like it's like going to sing a Mar- uh, um, um, Star Spangled Banner. They probably don't get paid for that either. Nope, that's a great honor. And this year, there were see the person that sang America the Beautiful was um, Queen Latifah. Yes. And the person that sang uh, oh, that was America. That was just America. Oh. America, America, God shed His grace on thee and crown it. That's 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 the national anthem. No, that's oh, say can oh, well, you well, see? The, well Amer- anyway, <laughs> she sang a patriotic song, right? And then the <laughs> national anthem was sang by an opera singer. I can't remember her name, but she was a Grammy-winning opera singer. And people were upset about that as well. Why? Because her voice, uh, because the fact that she sings uh, opera, please, that's people. not the type of music they. Their issue was is that not American she, enough? She's an opera singer, right? And the Star Singer Band is not to, supposed to be sung by in in an operaish tone. People were tripping last night. People are crazy when when the Super Bowl comes on. Everything has to be what they but they think is American. New Super Bowl, but anyway. So um, halftime show. I thought it was meh. Other people loved it. Good for them. Uh, I was hoping. Uh, I don't know. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Meh. But, uh, so, second half of the show, the Broncos didn't fare much better. No, they, they scored. They scored. A, they scored. A, they finally scored. They scored, and they got um, a two-point conversion. And then, um, and they then that was scoring, it. What, fifth, what? How many points? Eight points? Fifteen points? How many? They, eight, they got eight, eight points. points. They yeah. got eight points total. Uh, versus 43 for the Seahawks. So it was pretty bad. The saddest thing was when Peyton Manning looked sad and they switched over to his brother Eli looking sad. It was so sad. And I felt, I mean, I wasn't the only one that felt bad. Uh-huh. Uh, f- uh, felt, felt bad about Peyton Manning. Right. I mean, other people were like, that's really sad because one, they were a good team, but they just couldn't do it. I know one of the things that they kind of you know that was kind of messing it up a little bit for him was that they were so it was kind of like one person against against the whole the whole defense or the whole boom team. legion or something like that because it's a legion of boom legion of boom and everybody was like oh peyton manning's gonna win the game for the broncos you know you know some people was like eh you know that's not the, what we were saying but they treated it that way right. you know what i'm saying so, yeah, I mean, I actually watched the Super Bowl. I wasn't going to watch it, but sports. Look at all the sports we're talking about. I know. Sports. Don't, don't worry. It won't happen again for a long, long time. <laughs> so, Super Bowl's over. Oh, and the first Super Bowl ad after after the Super Bowl uh, was by Esurance. featured John Krasinski from The Office. Yep. And if you did hashtag eSurance save thirty or something like that, you you could win like thirty what million dollars or something. One point five million. One point five million dollars. So I hope we'll see. Everybody if. was hashtagging it. I'm not gonna win, but yeah. hey, I hey I threw my towel in the ring. I um, we all I did. don't I, I don't I I don't lose anything. Right. So they paid. So that so that pr- pretty much paid for itself. All so. right. Well, cool. Let's jump into some media. Media, movies, books, comics, TV, and I have to say that Renee and I, we did watch um, Mo Man of Belmont Avenue. Boom! Thanks, Crather. Thank you, Crather, for suggesting that. Yep. So we watched it, and that was one weird it was weird i can't put it up on my like (laughs) list it was more weird than anything right right it kind of fit into this stereotypical movie where uh these kind of slacker pothead brothers and or friends they're brothers i know but i'm saying the type of movie sometimes they're friends okay and they bumble around (laughs) the whole movie they wouldn't even bumble I don't even know what they it, were. They were worse than bumbling. <laughs> it was, they weren't bumbling. I don't even know they what the hell you call bumbling. that. But, but they always say, end up doing doing it right in the end, right? So, 
So I have to say, there were boobs. I was not expecting there boobs. Were bo- I was expecting boobs. They came out of nowhere. And it was it was it was one scene of boobs. It wasn't like constant. Right. One scene of boobs. There's one scene of boobs. And I said, <laughs> what did I say when I saw him? Like, what's wrong with her boobs? I'm like, they're fake, babe. Because <laughs> they were just perky and sitting up and I was and round and I was like, uh, they're fake. That's what's wrong with them. I just didn't understand. I was just like, her boobs look You just aren't up. used to fake boobs. I'm not. I'm used I, I to prefer... the real thing. Yeah. So. Um, so I have to ask you. Yes. How many stars? Out of five? Yeah. I want to say it's not so. See, one is a hate. Uh huh. So I got to give it a two. Two out of five. So is it? So is it two and a half? No, two. So it's a a straight solid two. two. Because it wasn't a hate. So I had a two and a half. Why'd you get two and a half? Um. It it was it was good, but then the boobs they get they get half a point for well, boobs. But, whoa whoa whoa! Do I get half a point for having boobs? You get ten points, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so who knew just just having boobs would uh, do half a point? Okay. Well, boobs make everything better. Boobs make everything better. So um, oh, they have puppies and kittens. Oh, they did. There are, See, there are lots of puppies and kittens. And that's another movie. half point to give them. So they get. No, they don't get three they stars. They get three stars. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, they get. But you can't give half stars on Netflix. Right. So two stars it is. So this You're is. You're going to give them three stars because they okay. had kittens and boobs? Okay. Please. All right. The cop was kind of funny a little bit. The cop was freaking hilarious. You can't give. You can't give. You can't give them a. Uh, a three for the cop. Fine. For the puppies and kittens and cop, they get three. For the puppies, kittens, and the cop, we have three stars for the Mo Man of Belmont Avenue. And apparently boobs from Jay. The cop cops oh the cop over the boobs though. Because the cop was cop freaking over boobs. hilarious. Cop over boobs. The, the the cop was freaking hilarious. So um so Hando said great watch my movie next he's like now that characters out of the way it's my turn so do we have it on the list uh maybe what movie Can, was that uh, you remind me Hendo, what your movie was and uh we will uh get to watching it because we are on a roll not really but we're getting there i mean we're knocking them out i mean we're we're we're, we're getting re- we're doing these requests that our listeners are giving us and I like getting requests for movies. Yeah, it, and I it have, just needs to be on Amazon streaming or it needs to be on Netflix streaming. And so I, and I have to things. say, um, and I have to say, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Well, everybody who wants us oh. to watch a movie, remind us what you want us to watch because I'm not, I don't have anything, uh, you know, uh, written down like I should. So remind me, and then um, we'll get those in. Right uh, now, Walk the Line. I have not seen that. Is you have not Netflix? seen Walk the Line. No, have you? Yes. Came out in two thousand five. You must. We weren't together. No, I watched it out. late though. I didn't watch it. Huh? I've always wanted to, but never have. Walk the Line, huh? So Aaron said the layer cake is his. I've never heard of the layer cake. So Walk the Line is not on. Netflix. Yeah, you can't choose something that's not on Netflix or Amazon, Green Negus. That's cheating. Well, not on streaming. Yes. Layer cake But I want not. to watch it. Come on now, y'all. Okay, here's Hendo's movie. Seven Psychopaths. I remember him saying Oh, this. yes! That's next. Seven Psychopaths. It's, it has Colin Farrell, Sam Rockwell, Woody Harrelson, Christopher Walken, Tom Waits, Abby Cornish, and Olga Kirilenko. It's not on streaming! Uh. What is going on, everybody? We said streaming. <laughs> All right. Or or maybe it depends how much it costs to rent. No, no, be a do streaming. That's cheating. There's good stuff to rent. Streaming is actually <laughs> has the bad stuff on it. Well, since no one can give us one for streaming, we're gonna pick one. So Hando, let's see if Hando's in WoW is the thing. If Hando's not in WoW, I'm going to have to immediately go to... Oh, he said, oh, crap. He's probably not in WoW. No, that's fine. We, and that's fine. Yeah, we can do something else. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What's if, the top um, number and the bottom number? And I can give you a number. Oh. Uh, 
So we can generate. This is this is great radio. <laughs> Grand Nagus said, "You said you were watching. What uh, what did we ask you to? With the stipulation that it be on streaming Netflix or streaming Amazon. Sixty to one fifty six. Handle isn't wow. So what is it? Sixty. Sixty through one fifty six. Um, I'm gonna see what I would have gotten. Um, be funny if we get the same thing, Handle." So, I also watched Kevin Hart's stand-up of Let Me Explain. Oh, yeah. You did watch that. And that was pretty funny. Um, this was my first stand-up um, that I've watched in a long time. Aside aside from the Canadian dude the that we watched for the show. And so, it was pretty good. Um, one of the funniest part of it was when he was talking about the bum lip. You know the bum bump when the bum would come up and oh. flip your lip, but that's but but that doesn't happen. <laughs> but it's just so funny that when you think about bums in their hands, you don't want them to really well, touch you. Of course not. Yeah. Is that is that bad of me? What that you don't want to touch a bum? Yeah, that I don't want to. When touch you don't a bum. want to touch anybody. That's true. <laughs> good point. I don't want. I don't. I don't like anybody touching me. Oh, Renee's gonna love this. What so, is it? The movie we have to watch is The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. Now, here's my thing. It's, is this it's the, the original. Is this the third one or is this the second one? Because you already seen the first one. Right. So, Hold on. And the, thing, and the reason I say that is that 96 is the girl who played with fire. So... You need a. We need to decide which we can. We can switch these around. The girl with the dragon tattoo. All right, is this the original one, um, or is this the? This is the 2009. The girl who kicked the hornet's nest. So is this is a Swedish version. No. Okay. Uh, we saw the girl with the dragon tattoo. Okay. This is the one that has. So I think Michael it's, it's, Knight Nykvist. Yes, Michael Blomkist. Yeah, well, that's the Mikael Blomkis. No. What? Oh, this is Swedish. Okay. Oh. So we have to watch the original Swedish one if we're going to watch this one. Which one is that? That's the girl with the dragon tattoo, but it's in Swedish. Jay's like, I have to read. I really don't feel like reading. Uh, we, <laughs> hey, we we have to stick to the rules. I can I can tell you what it says. Babe, that is an hour. That was a. That is that is. Subtitle movies aren't so bad. Two hours and twenty seven minutes of reading. Shark Sharknado should uh, fail. All right, bye, J.K. He said his internet isn't cooperating. He has to go. All right, see you later, J.K. So, are you saying you won't do what we said we were gonna do? You? Well, no, you, we were going. No, we said knew. no. We said we were going to take requests. Are you cheating? No. I said we were going to take requests from from the people. Well, someone else made a request. So if what you, is it? So if you want to take this request, I don't know if it's on there. Iron Sky. So if Iron Sky is on there, I'll let you get out of this one. Yes, Iron Sky is on here. The <laughs> Nazis retreated to the moon in 1945. What is this? Ayagovos. Uh, suggested. But after they are discovered by an American show in 2018, they relaunched their plans to invade Earth. Oh my God, yes. Thanks. Thanks, James. <laughs> You're a savior. So, you, so Jay's cheating is what you just saw. No, I like the movies that people have watched and they, Jay, they tell us. you so cheated. Well, you know what? We could have watched Raw 1 also. We could have. Because, you know, yeah. Mr. Fox sent that to us. So... Maybe we, next time we'll do Raw 1. And yeah, then, and we watched the first 30 minutes of it. Huh. And, uh, yeah, and Hendo did, did bring up a good point. I totally forgot. What? Uh, the news about Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes. I'm sure pe- people have heard. Uh, he was found dead in his New York apartment, and that's very sad because he did a lot of good movies. He did. He was very, very good in the latest Hunger Games movie. So yeah. uh, very sad to see that go. He was only 46. Yeah. Uh, so. Too soon. Too soon. That's all, yeah, yeah. When is, is there a point when it's not too soon? It's always too soon. It's always too soon. If yeah. they're, if they're ninety six, is it too soon? Too soon. It's always too soon. To to any <laughs> loved one, unless someone does not have a loved one. 
Aw, that's sad. Thinking about that people is sad. that don't have anybody that cares about right. them. Right. I mean, that is sad. But if someone. It's not too soon. If, I mean, because there's no one to say. Too, too soon. soon. <laughs> you know? Okay, that's what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Hey, I, I hope nobody says that when I go. I'll be like, hey, it's time. I, I'm going to say, if, if I'm still alive, soon. I'm going to say too soon. I'm like, damn it, Renee. I tell you what. You couldn't is, wait for me? This is this is off topic, but it's so funny. Every time I, I'm i around my family and Jay, I tell my family what I want to happen when I'm old and in, and enfeebled. And Jay was like, I hope I'm still alive. I know, because Renee's just like, this is what I want my family to do. I'm just like, <laughs> well, y'all don't give... You well, don't, I figured you already know what you what I, what I want you to do. Right, right, right. If you're in good health, it's too soon, Grand Naked said. Right. Damn, um, there you go. And then um, we also watched a little bit of Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, I watched um, a episode, I think. I watched the episode, which was the episode I'm glad we saw, because... It was good. The plot is finally moving. Finally, because that was you know four four episodes of it not moving was starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Can I can, yeah. I, can I be honest? You can be honest. Um, and there was also talk on Twitter about BSG. It's not for everybody. Some people couldn't stand it. Oh no, um, it really um BSG really bugs Daryl a lot because with the camera work and everything else, and I can understand that. Um, the camera work to me is almost comical. It's like it's just something that's there. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of I tend to ignore it. Yeah, because um, it's, it's like you know I'm using the video camera. They have they said Jay, we need for you to record this BSG episode, and I get on there and I'm trying to learn how to work the camera. So, <laughs> so that, that that's so kinda, much a BSG episode. We're 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 getting there. Right, we're getting there. And some ER, and then Renee, you finished the game. ER is amazing. We only seen two episodes, but if it's up to me, we're gonna finish. Darn it. Yep. Well. You want us to watch two hours and 30 minutes of Swedish movie where we have to read everything? Yep. And you didn't even mention Big Bang Theory. You're a horrible person. Okay. Go ahead. We uh, finally got to season five. We, are, we, we haven't started it yet, but the disc is in, the, disc is in there. So right. um, I'm liking it. It's funny. I think it's gotten funnier. Yes. Uh, Sheldon's still my favorite. So. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I did finish a game. Granted, the game's only three hours. Uh, this is the game that I started last week, brothers, and Renee was like, I'm going to beat this game before Jay does. I did not. That so, is not what I said. So she got it installed. <laughs> I I got it installed and beat the same day. Yeah, I, ha- I had some stuff Thursday that I had Thursday was to do. the day I did that. That was, and I was unable. I started, but I was unable to, to do that. So um, brothers is short. Very it is. short. Definitely so keep is. that in mind. Um, is a puzzler. And uh, you use the two sticks and bumpers to control two different brothers. And uh, it was good. And I cheated because <laughs> I kind of looked at the achievements. And then I was like, well, I'm going to just look up online how to do all these, which, which you kind of you kind of have to know what t- to do beforehand. Uh-huh. And so Renee was like, "So if you didn't do it beforehand, you had to go back and do it. You and had to go back, start, you had to go start the chapter over, which isn't horrible, but it's a really me, good game. Though. And for me, you know, I, Renee was telling me, I was like, eh, you know, if I miss it, I miss it. But then she, after she told me, I was kind of like, well, I guess I should do it, you know. Especially since I told you about it, you felt obligated to do it. Yep. But it's a good way to spend, you know, three hours. So mm-hmm. I recommend it. It's good. Definitely. Um, then... Um, I had a listener, um, and friend, um, Mr. Mr. Ken, um, I have to say thank you. He gifted me a copy of Octodad. Um, I have it installed. Um, I actually was going to play a little bit before the show and stream some, but I was not able to. So I plan to stream some Octodad here, oh my um, this gosh. week. I, and I just keep thinking of the preview that I saw of Octodad and how creepy the yeah, game looked. Yeah. He was getting married, babe. <laughs> and then um also oh, then I also played um about um the Curve Studios who did Thomas Was Alone, Stealth Incorporated, Prothes um Protheus, and I can't remember the fourth one. But I bought their studio package bundle that was on PS Vita, which gives cross play for PS three as well. Um I I I'm I'm playing that. So I'm I'm playing through Thomas Was Alone right now. I, oh, that and that's well. 8 bit, right? Thomas was alone? No, it's just Square, oh, it's Gemini, not- but it's a platformer. 
You know, it's kind of like Brothers. It's, is it a rogue like game? No, it's like Brothers slash Cave. You control. You have. You have. Well, you're, it's, you're, it's a platformer. Okay. Let me just put it that way. Cause I'm about to spoil it for some other don't stuff. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. So, so just think platformer Brothers, the cave. Okay. Boom. How's that? <laughs> but it, but it is it is not a rogue. Um, like it's just more of a platformer. So. With that, um, you also got a game in the mail today. Oh yeah, I got Telestrations. Um, Telestrations is a new game um, that we're gonna be playing next week when Deidre comes into town. So, so what's the premise of Telestrations? Um, the premise of the game is remember the telephone game where you have to tell someone a word, and you have to spread it around the group. Except this way, you actually have to draw it on a pad and pass it around every dr- everyone draws something on the pad and they pass it around well well how it goes is that somebody draws something they pass it to the next person that person writes what they think it is down mm-hmm. and then they have to draw that for the next person no they no they pass what they wrote down to the next person so somebody is guessing and somebody is drawing it alternates it's what mm. i read on the box so um, we'll figure it out. I I figured it out. I looked at the back of the box. You didn't read the instructions on the inside. I don't even read the instructions. I know exactly what the instructions are. Okay. So yeah, that's that's what it is. Boom. Yep. Um, all right. So <laughs> do we want to jump into food, or do we just want to go to odds and ends? We didn't have any food. I ate food. I ate whatever I wanted. So. <laughs> Why did you eat whatever you want, babe? Because I wanted it, so I ate it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead with Mr. Feisty. Odds and ends. And before we get into birthdays, let's just go ahead and say that if you want to join the Frog Pants group, you can do so at facebook.com slash group slash frog pants. Lose it. Yes. The frog pants was it. I did do the totals. Okay, so that. where are the uh, totals? 174 people have lost 1,168.4 pounds, 6.7 pounds per person. Yep. Amazing and guys. Now, Amazing job, guys. Now, let me say, because I didn't announce my weight anything, I haven't gained. I'm, I'm still maintaining. But, but because food is boring when we don't have any food to talk because about. Because I have to maintain because I was telling Aaron from the Black Astronauts podcast, we were talking today, I said... I can't gain any weight because I gave all my clothes away. They were too big. It's true. And I told him, I was like, you know what? You know what I did on Saturday? I ate a pint of ice cream. You could have got a small. And, and what did I do? You got a small. I got a tiny thing of ice cream. I got. I ate I ate a pint of ice cream. And, I, and you know what? Maybe I should have stopped you. You know what? I could have stopped you. Eh, eh, you know what? You could I could have smacked that pint out of your hand. I know, right? <laughs> like, stop it. <laughs> but I had to say it was good. But, you know, I, I you know, I, I've been watching it. So I'm still maintaining. Yep. Um, but birthdays. We have some birthdays this week. So who do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow we have two birthdays. We have um, Ellen, uh Dylan Johnston. Uh, tomorrow, happy birthday, Elid. Yeah, happy birthday, uh, Elid. Um, <laughs> uh, we have Willie Gregory, aka Dill's birthday, is also tomorrow. Yep. Dill's birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Dill's. And then on Thursday, we have three birthdays. We have Brian Toby. Is that Toby Toby? Toby Toby from the Tadpool. Toby Toby. And then on Thursday, we also have Frozen Falcon. Is that who that is? Yeah, who hey. is? Um, Dio. Dio. Huh? Diogo. Diogo Santos. How do you know what everybody's names are? Because I'm in the tab pool, like, regularly all the time, Renee. Come on. Anyway, and, and one of my favorite people, because she's amazingly sweet, Tina Ibbett's birthday is also on Thursday. And she listens to the show. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday, week, Tina. Oh, I wish you were here. I would sing. You know what? We need to get them two on the show. I, I've been aiming to do that. And We've I'm, been aiming to do. Well, we've been aiming to get a lot of people on the show. Well, you have to admit, Jerry, I'm calling you out now. Wow, you called him out on the show because he was supposed to be on for the last two Mondays. He has been, but he's busy. But he's been busy, and he, he's come the last minute. And I can't just go to somebody the last minute and say, "Hey, can you be on the show today?" 
you know. But you know how it is. I know how it is. You know how it is. I guess I could have been like, "Hey, Aaron, you want you want you want to talk on the show again?" You could have. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing. Well, it's okay. We're gonna have a guest on. <laughs> right. We'll see if we can work with um, Brian and Tina's busy schedule. So if you have some cycles today, you know, go check out go check out the fellas over at not cycles today, but cycles this week. If you, cycles. If you're looking for some other stuff to listen to this week, what is this? What is, what is that? If you have, but I have cycles. a minute left of this music. Okay, so be Yay. quiet. Yay! <laughs> go check out the folks over at Hush Show, HushShow.com. <laughs> check out the people at Black Astronauts Podcast, BlackAstronauts.com. Check out the folks over at Frog Pants. Thank you all so much, FrogPants.com. Check out people at Coverville. Go check them out. Th- thank you so much. Go check out J.K. Grammar and the folks over at Ten Ford Podcast at TenFordPodcast.com. And check out Jeff and all the other folks over at Sci-Fi Tech Talk. And you can reach us by email at the Valentinecast at gmail.com. You can see our blog at ValentineCast.com. The podcast Twitter feed is ValentineCast. And the Facebook page is Facebook.com slash ValentineCast. You can call us at 415-758-2278. That's 75VCast. And if you want to reach... If you want to see this video on YouTube, you can do so at valen- youtube.com slash valentinecast. My, and Jay's Twitter feed is the cowboy, and my Twitter feed is the ice flow. We have 20 seconds. Boom! Thank you, Pretty Lights, for the outro music. We are out of here. Bye, everybody. Bye. Boops. Boom! How you like taking it under, <laughs> uh, under the wire? Hey, I had to shout out everybody. <laughs> I looked at the thing. I was like, I have. <laughs> do you I have? have it? Did, do you have it written down somewhere? That's pretty good if you didn't. What? All the people I'm shouting yeah. out? No, I don't That's have it written good. down. You have a very, those are the, very those, good memory. Those are the people that I always think of. I mean, those oh, are the people that's that. That's so sweet of you. Yeah. That's the that's, those one are the folks. I think of. Jay got out of the. Freaking the girl kicked the horses. I can't believe you got out of that. All right. You can't always keep getting out of it. It's going to be there next week and the next week. You know, I have issue with the brutality of men in movies. That is not why you didn't want to watch it. You're so lying. That show is so violent towards men. It just hurts my heart. You're so lying. You just don't want to read. You didn't have a problem watching the other one. Actually, I did. No. (laughs) I just didn't say anything. The brutality of men got to you? How do you think I feel when when all the shows are... No, no, no. I didn't say anything about the reading. No, the brutality... You didn't have to read in the last one. It was English. Oh, that's right. (laughs) It was long, though. And a little boring. She was cute-ish. What are we, the I don't know couple? I have no idea. I can't believe whether I have no idea a couple. You had 10 million jobs before the show. You couldn't do that one. Yeah, I had 10 million jobs. I had to start the um, <laughs> the stream for And then I had to remember yeah, to record. You had way more than one job. So <laughs> I can't even fault you for that. See you, Hando. Bye, Hando. So. Oh, you all see the puppy? Let me. um. Let's see if I can pick him up. He hates being picked up. but Let me stop. I'm not stopping the broadcast. I'm just stopping the recording so I can get some music going.